Well, thanks so much for joining us here once again on weatherbug.com. I'm weatherbug.com, severe weather meteorologist Aaron Schaefer with you. And we're starting to see some lightning in some spots that until recently had only been dealing with snow and things like that. So this was in Iowa, and you see some hail reports from yesterday. Childress, Texas, baseball-sized. El Dorado, Oklahoma, uh, two-inch hailstones. And also out in Texas, some fairly significant ones besides that Childress one. And there you go. There's the map over the last 24 hours. Uh, you can see leading up at least into Monday morning. Uh, some of the hail reports showing up from Kansas all the way down to North Texas. And then also a couple in the Midwest on that Iowa and Minnesota border. We take you down to Texas, though, where we see rainfall through Monday morning. And look at some of the tallies out there. So Childress around uh, just under an inch and a half. But these pink shaded areas indicate four to five inches or more of rainfall in, in some of these areas. So some pretty significant rain. And our storm threat then on the day today continues to kind of encompass these areas with thunderstorms from Minneapolis down to Texas. But the uh, severe weather threat we're talking about on the day today uh, stretches from Dallas to Longview, the Arklatex, on down toward Rock Springs, Texas. So we're watching for that. Here's what it looks like on our future satellite and radar. And you can see not a whole lot going on in the early going, but watch what happens closer to evening. Storms erupt and some pretty significant ones, a definite possibility. Now, as you look ahead toward Wednesday, that's our next severe weather threat. We're watching that once again, and you can see the basic setup for that is moisture getting pulled up to the north with this cold front and dry line sagging down to the south. How about temperatures? We'll cover those quickly. Again, six to 10 day temperature outlooks above average further to the south. 